Well, it's finally tournament day, guys. Tin Cat, stop number two for the 2021-2022 season. GPS is talking to me. We're headed up to Chihaui Lake, guys. I'm actually excited. Uh, pre-fishing went well, even though it has been a couple weeks or so since I pre-fished. But I kind of picked up on the same pattern that I did last year and the other couple times I pre-fished. So, I mean, that, that's what I'm going to run with today and hopefully it'll work. we got 26 anglers in this event today, so it's going to be a stacked field on a little bitty lake that has two ramps. So, we'll see how that goes. But we're headed up here now. We've got about an hour drive. It's 420 a.m. I got up at 3.30 this morning so we can make that drive up here. And like I said, I'm pumped up. We got a lot of good anglers today and uh, the fish are, are biting pretty good up here. I've talked to several guys that's come up here and pre-fish in the last couple weeks and that bite's still on like it was for me. So uh, I feel like we will have to grind a little bit. We'll have to cover water, fish hard, and that's how we're going to get our bites and, and get our bigger bites is just covering water. So but let's make this drive up here. We got a little fog advisory this morning and uh, let's get up here and see if we can get after it and catch a few. All right, guys, it is already raining and there's three of us at the ramp and it is 5.30 a.m. We're an hour and a half early right now. Here comes another car too. Me and Chris, our plan was to get here like 5.15, right at right around five, because we figured we'd be yeah. kind of most people here. Yeah. Five, we even called it 5.30, people will start getting here. <laughs> Just gotta get past this rain, guys. It's gonna rain all day long, so hopefully this sound quality works. I've got my cameras kind of wrapped up in bags and tried to dry them up as well as I can. Straighten her up, you got it. Well, now we get to wait around for 20 or 30 minutes before we can launch. But as of now, it's just me, Chris, and Travis here. Like I said, there's 26 anglers in this tournament today. So I'll turn these back on so y'all can see me. Anyways, like I said, there's 26 anglers in today's event. I happened to win this last year. Whether that's gonna happen again this year, I do not know, but we're gonna try. Uh, we caught 53 and a quarter, I believe it was, in pre-fishing, uh, which would have won it last year. Second place took 52, 75, I believe it was, or something like that. But I feel like with 26 people today in this rain with the wind blowing, it's going to turn that bite on and these guys are going to catch some fish. So uh, what our plan is, is to, as soon as six o'clock hits, we're allowed to blast off. We're going to paddle up, sit on our spots and sit there and wait till it lines in. I've got these cameras, like I said, wrapped up in plastic, if you can even see it. Wrapped up, Gorilla tape, cameras wrapped up. So hopefully this sound isn't like like distorted. I cut a little hole over here on the side where the speaker's at. We'll sit around, hang out for a little bit, and then it's time to blast off, so. All right, Chris, good luck, dude. One minute, one minute. Eighteen seven five. Boom. Great fish. Eighteen seven five, guys. Not a bad one. We're definitely going to need three like that or bigger, I feel like, to even finish in the top five. I mean, I think they're going to catch on that good today. So we got to grind. I'm just going to, I'm going to cast after cast after cast after cast after cast. Cover as much water as I can. 
Once I jump over, I'm gonna throw the spinner, I'm gonna throw the crankbait, I'm gonna throw the net, I'm gonna throw the jig, and uh, I may even throw this little glide bait, River to Sea, and a mag draft once I get a limit and try to get bigger fish, get those bigger bites. and a quarter keeper number two 13 and a quarter we'll have to get rid of that guy today but i'll take it 13 and a quarter boom number two We're going to jump across. Number three. Fifteen seven five, guys. Fifteen seven five. Finally, I can use this camera a little bit. It's not raining as hard. Keeper number three. That's a limit, guys. Fifteen seven five. I'm not sure what our total is. We've got an eighteen seven five. We've got a thirteen and a quarter, thirteen or something. Then we've got a fifteen and a quarter. So we need to upgrade a couple times. So but we do have a limit now. There's our limit. 15.75, let it go. I see my line kind of running out deep on that one. I didn't even feel that fish pick it up. I lifted up, didn't feel weight, but I noticed my line was running out. He was on there. Oh my gosh, guys, the big glide bait just hit it. Oh. Guys, I just picked up that S waiver and just caught probably a 20. I watched that fish come up and eat that too. How awesome is that? Guys, I watched that fish come up and eat that glide bait. Wow. Well, that'll get the job done. Holy crap. I just picked that thing up. And that's what we just caught on it right there. Wow. We gotta get a picture of that. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. I watched that fish come up and eat that, guys. Wow. I'm glad I brought that today. I just had a feeling. Had a feeling if I brought that, it was going to get munched. I made five casts with it. Look at that. 
That fish ate it. That is a absolute beast right there. That was scary. What a freaking fish too. Get some pictures of this thing. Get back at it. Thanks, Milliken. <laughs> I've been watching some of Milliken's videos, man, and he keeps with these big glide baits and swim baits in his hand always, man. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick one up and throw it up there this weekend. And it just delivered with a probably a 20. 19 and a quarter. There we go, guys. 19 and a quarter. Absolute beast such a messy day too my hat my dang this thing's all on my ears it's hard to hear went and i can hear the rain hitting it and stuff and just a mess look at that thing boom 19 and a quarter boom there you go guys let it go It's gone. Now that was legitimately one of the coolest catches I've ever had. I watched that fish come up and like, he come up and just like rode on it. He just come up, whoosh, took it down. I thought my eyes were deceiving me because I was watching my bait. When I, when I reel it, that thing kicks side to side and that side flashes a little bit. And I drew that dude up from the bottom. I mean, we're sitting in almost 16 foot of water. Man, that was incredible right there. Not even gonna lie. All right, we threw that S waiver for over an hour. Just that one bite. Still a super cool bite though. Picked it up, I was like, man, I feel like this thing will get bit. Five casts later, 19 and a quarter. And uh, pretty awesome. So we're gonna work up through here. Throw this Ned rig around. We got a lot of laydowns and stuff. I, I thought I'd pull some of those fish up if they were down there in them laydowns. That S waiver's got a little silver flash to it. Just looks super good. Thought maybe, just maybe. You catch us another big one off of it, but I know I can catch the big ones off this Ned rig too. So, I don't know if it's going to be bigger than the 15 we got, but we'll see. Nope, 14 and a quarter. Fish is not going to help us. All right, guys, here we go. 14 and a quarter. Not going to help the cause. Another little guy, little one, just another little one. Not gonna help us. All right, guys, we've worked up about as far as I want to work. I mean, we've we're three or four miles up the lake, three at least. So now we're gonna work back. There's some guys here fishing. We're gonna skip a bunch of this, get back down that direction, closer to the ramp, and then start fishing that. Hopefully, we can find one more good one. One more go. And I will be happy. We've still got three and a half hours. Three and a half hours to find one more good fish. And then as long as this weather stays like this, I'm hoping the bottom don't fall out again and we get caught in a bunch of rain. So we'll see. All right, just a bit of an update. Let's see what time it is really quick. 1230. 
So we got two and a half hours till line's out. And I haven't caught a fish in, I don't know, two hours, three hours. Uh, we've still got 53.75, which isn't bad, but I think it's gonna take more to win it. Like I said, it took 56 inches last year. I got lucky, <laughs> 56 inches won it. But second place last year was 52 something. So if it's like last year, we can pull it off with 53.75, but I don't think it's gonna happen. 26 anglers spread out on this little lake. This lake has some really, really good quality bass. I mean, my average up here is just unbelievable. Better than any lake I've ever fished, my average. That's like maybe six, seven over 18 or 19 inches. We've got one 20 incher up here, large mouth. So the average up here is really good. We've got a 17 and three quarters that we've caught up here. This is from in the last year, but we've caught several over 19, several over 18, one over 17 or 117 and then we've got 120 so finish up this last two and a half hours and fingers crossed we can catch one more upgrade if we could catch one more 18 or 19 i feel like we could possibly pull this off again but if we don't get that upgrade i don't think it's going to happen i don't know it's gonna be close it's gonna be close all right guys well that's it it's about 15 20 minutes till lines out i'm gonna go ahead and head on back to the ramp i've done fished all of this twice actually three times fished it up this morning jumped over and that's where i caught that glide bait fish when i jumped over come back down walked all the way back down it come back up it again and that's i mean that's just it like i said 26 anglers on the lake every spot i could have fished got fish after you know probably 10 or 11 o'clock every everybody was out kind of running and gunning at that point you know trying to find those extra fish or maybe those uh to, to fill their limit or to make some upgrades like I was doing. So, anyways, let's get back to the ramp. Looks like guys are starting to load up. Guys are already leaving. I'm seeing kayaks more here. Headed down the lake. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust it out of here. Yeah. <laughs> 